here at Giddens Elementary. This is our garden courtyard, and we have our pre-K students out here, three and four-year-olds. They have been very busy already planting our herbs, fresh herbs. We have our scarecrow fall flowers out here. Ooh, look, hi guys. What are you guys doing? Planting some flowers. Planting some flowers? It's a pumpkin. Good morning, pre-K. What are we doing? What do we have here? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> Have you used a microphone before? <laughs> yeah. okay. It looks like it. She leaned in. That's everything. right. Look at this. What colors do we see? It's orange. It is orange. I like it. I feel funny on this one. Miss Johnson, what are we doing out here? Well, this looks like so much fun. It is. It's so fun. We um, have had this outdoor area for many, many years. and. Every morning I bring the kids out for a story on the rocks, which is behind us, and then I let the kids play for about 15 or 20 minutes, So, um, and it just gets their energy out. They talk, it builds their language, and it's just an opportunity for them to just explore on their own. Well, I love it, and I love what you do with them. Thank you to you, and we have six pre-K teachers here at Giddens Elementary, a three- and four-year-old program, and they are rock-solid teachers doing amazing things with our students. So the first word we're going to practice is sheep. Sheep. Okay. So I want you to punch out the sounds you hear. Shh. E. How many sounds did you punch out? Three. Three sounds. Great job. Miss Macias, we're so happy to be in your classroom this morning. Can you share with us a little bit about what we are going to see? Yes, absolutely. So right now we first start off with our word work and we're going to use some poppets to punch out some sounds that we've been practicing with our phonics skills. And then we are going to get into our book that we're reading and that we've gone over and uh, we'll start reading individually with them. I'll start taking my um, my notes on that. We'll do some data tracking with running records and all that good stuff. And the Daily Five, uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. So Daily Five is a literacy technique that we use to make sure that we can ensure that all our students are getting some really good one-on-one -on -one time with the teacher or small group time with the teacher. It really enforces different strategies for reading and for um, working collaborati collaboratively as a group of students. We are going to be doing a family circle this morning. It is part of what a light, lighthouse community does. And what it, the purpose of it is to connect with our students and build better human capacity. I do have our family ambassador leader that would like to probably add a little bit more about what family circle means to her. Family circle, it's a time that we connect through letting other people know what we're feeling. If we have any conflict going on with our class, um, we're able to share what we're, what we're talking about. But why are we here? We're here to connect and become better humans, right? Understanding that building capacity in any relationship, whether you're a fifth grader or an adult, we need to come together and connect through communicating um, about life stuff. Our five circle family agreements are one, trust the process. Trust, trust the, the process. process. Two, equity of voice. Equity, equity of voice. voice. Three, listen from the heart. Listen, listen from, from the, the heart. heart. Four, what we talk about in the circle stays in the circle. What, what we, we talk, talk about, about in the circle stays, stays in the circle. And lastly, speak the truth as you know it. Speak, speak the, the truth, truth as you know, know it. Oh my gosh, Miss Ackerman, I loved seeing that group of students process through those questions as we've known a lot of them since they've grown up since kinder here at Giddens. And what real world questions that they are thinking through and really to become the best version of themselves and getting out what we all know but we rarely talk about. Absolutely. Our Giddens family legacy is to empower each other and grow leaders by living the eight habits through creating a positive, trusting, and inclusive culture.